Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Step into the future of online selling and elevate your WordPress site into a full-fledged e-commerce powerhouse with a seamless integration of WooCommerce. Master product listings, inventory management and secure transactions and more. So guys, let's get started. So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So basically guys, to actually be able to add WooCommerce to your WordPress website, there are several ways to do so. The first way, which is basically by heading up directly to your WordPress dashboard, as you can see here, and clicking on this left side menu, you will find plugins. Simply search for add new plugin, and here you will find two methods. The first method, it is basically by uploading the plugin itself and the second method, which is basically searching for the plugin in the marketplace of plugins that exist on the WordPress dashboard. So let's show you both ways and uh, that will be very easy to actually do it. So the first way, which is basically searching for WooCommerce for WordPress and you will find normally the plugin right here in one of the WordPress uh, websites. So simply all you need to do is to click on download and then head up to your WordPress website. Click on upload plugin and then choose from here a file that is going to be WooCommerce. Then you can simply open it and let it install just like that. After that, click on install now and it will be ready to go. The same thing goes for the search. What you have to do is to go here, search for the plugin. Here we go. Let's search for WooCommerce, as you can see right here. So WooCommerce. And now, simply all you need to do is to actually click here to install it. Now, because I am on my local host, I can't really install the plugin right now. Now, this is the first method, which has like basically two different ways to actually do it. Now, there is another two methods that I'm going to show you as well. The first one, which is basically by going to WooCommerce, as you can see. So here we go. Let's search for WooCommerce websites. And here I am. So here on WooCommerce, what you could do or what you'll have to do is to simply create a new account so we have to create a new account in here as you can see they will give you a 14 days free trial then you can upgrade to any paid plan for only one dollar for your first three months so this is a very very good deal for those who are interested in WooCommerce here we go so try it for free now simply just you have to fill, fulfill these informations so I'm just starting my business here give it some uh, introduction about your store so give your store name which is optional uh, here industry and here simply it's just choose the region so let's choose United States as our region for example and then choose your uh, exact where your local it is then try who express for free and they will create a free WordPress website for you so now I'm going to continue as one of my other Gmail accounts so I can create a new whole new account on uh, here so we can find the WordPress account connected okay let's continue as this one I have no problem with it so here we go and now they will simply start creating our store which will be uh, made in WordPress and they will add directly WooCommerce to it and everything will be added into it without any problems so this is the second method which is basically uh, could be very easier and more secure than the first one since the first one I have only shown you in my localhost for those who are using localhost now for me why I couldn't use it on my localhost because I have an old version of WordPress which has a old version of PHP for you who has the latest version on their local host, that wouldn't be a problem for you guys. So this is to put in mind, in case you had a local host, well, it is not the end of the world. You can actually uh, use WooCommerce on your WordPress local host website. Now, as you can see, it is about to be finished. They are just setting up the website for you, uh, setting up the dashboard and making everything uh, ready for you to be used by yourself. Now, 
here we are as you can see the uh, WordPress website has been actually created so here on the left side you will find literally everything so here it is you will find the orders the product customers analytics marketing uh, automate WooCommerce and some WooCommerce extensions that you could be using in the future here you can also upgrade like that to for only one dollar which will give you a lot of uh, features so here we go some of their features that you're gonna get for performance or essential depending on what you want so here you will get a 15 gigabytes storage for the first one which will give you eventually email and live chat support unlimited admins unlimited product or services unlimited premium teams sell internationally automatic sales tax uh, automated backup plus quick restore shipment tracking real-time analytics in your dashboard sell and accept e-gift vouchers and a lot more than that the same goes for here all of the essential plus 200 gigabytes of storage then back in stock emails marketing automation automated email triggers cars abandonment emails offer bulk discount recommended add-ons and minimum slash max other quantity now why do i like to go for woocommerce into wordpress nowadays because it is much more cheaper let's go to the third method that will show you how cheaper it is to go from WooCommerce to WordPress than from WordPress to WooCommerce. So here I am on my WordPress website. So this is the live version. This is not a local host as you can see. So here simply all I'm going to do is the same thing. Go to plugins and here in the plugins I'm going to search for WooCommerce. There we go. Click on view details and here as you can see they were asking me to upgrade and activate so to actually add woocommerce to my website i have to upgrade my uh, wordpress website at the first place how can we do that the first thing is to simply head up to upgrade and activate plugin and here they will show you how much you're gonna be built for one year which is basically much expensive than paying only one dollar for the first three months and then paying 39 for the uh, other month later on so this is why i would really highly recommend you to go from wordpress or from woocommerce into wordpress not all the way around and yeah guys these are the three main methods to actually connect woocommerce with your wordpress website i hope you enjoyed this video if you do have any more questions make sure to leave them down below in the comment section you will be answered within one day maximum so thank you guys a lot for watching i hope you have an enjoyment and happy successful businesses using this method that i have shown you thank you guys and see you guys in the next tutorial